Hello everyone, my name is Rob and in this video we're going to take a look at a cabinet that I know many of you have seen before. Uh, I'd say the picture in the background might have given it away, but if you're like me, after a long day in the shop, you were kind of zeroed in on those three, uh, three cups of margaritas just chilling there on the counter. I'm going to be taking a look at the microwave base cabinet. So this cabinet right here and I'm gonna go over my method of designing it out and if we let's, let's kinda of, if we take a look at this cabinet just by itself we got this guy right here so pretty pretty basic cabinet you've got your microwave area up top you've got your drawer down here so I'm gonna go over what I require from my clients because there's all kinds of different sizes of microwaves so we'll cover that and I'm gonna be doing this inside of cabinet vision so let's get started the first thing I need before I can really get started is an appliance list or in this case it's a PDF from the appliance company usually it's provided by the client and once I get it um, you know then I can start looking at what my uh, cabinet requirements are going to be so this one's from a local uh, place called Metro Appliance so we're just gonna come down here until we find the microwave which is right here so you got these specs here but what we are interested in usually it's uh, it'll say something like cutout dimensions or cabinet dimensions and this is what we need to uh, to design out our cabinets so where everything fits so if we look over here We've got a box that has height minimums, width and depth, uh, minimums and maximums. And that's what we're going to need for our cutout. We know, I know that it's going to be the 30 inch trim kit and not the 27. And then over here we've got this little graphic that has a cabinet, a microwave, and then some arrows that says 3 inch minimum. And what that is saying is that this needs to be three inches, and that's for the trim kit. So if we come back to our picture, on this picture it's a it's an inch and a half styles what it appears to be. So we need to make sure that we we change that to three inches so we don't have any conflict with the bottom of the trim kit hitting the top of the drawer. So that's what that's for. So now that we've got that, we're going to go back to, we're going to go into cabinet vision. So this is the main load up page of cabinet vision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new job. And we're just going to call this microwave base, whoa, that's not what I wanted, tutorial. So for those of you who are just watching and the I got some settings over here that are that are going to be very specific for for KVC cabinets. So I'm not going to really go into the construction material hardware doors because that's it's specific. It was set up by either me or a technician. That's you know how how we at KVC do it. Uh, so we're going to hit OK and we're going to it's going to load up this CAD screen. So we're going to build a wall. So we just need any wall it's sick and we're gonna go with 60 it's just an arbitrary number it just allows me to place a cabinet so I'm gonna to go to my elevation view and I've got some options over here I'm gonna go into objects I'm gonna to go to custom cabinets and we've got some options here and everything with library is my it's something I've built so we're going to stay away from those. We're going to use the base cabinet uh, selection, which this comes standard with cabinet vision. So I'm just going to drop in a base cabinet. All right, so it doesn't really look like what we're needing, but that's okay. We're going to start modifying this. All right, so if we, got, we, got a, if we take a look over here, we've got an inspector panel. And so our dimensions currently, cabinet is 30 inches wide, 35 tall and 24 deep and the height and depth is what I want but the width is something we're gonna to have to take a look at the width here 
right now it's set at 30 inches, but in your particular case, you might need a certain width to satisfy a void requirement, you know, for whatever layout that you're you're working on. But we're gonna just pretend that there's no restriction, so we're just gonna build the optimal uh, size cabinet for this microwave. So if we take, if we go back to our cutout dimensions, we've got height. So we'll take a look at the height first. So the minimum and the maximum, if I zoom in here a little bit. It looks like the minimum height is going to be 16 and 3 quarters, and then the maximum is 17. So with the width, we've got 24 and 3 quarters, and then 25. So doesn't really matter so we're just going to use the maximums because that they're whole numbers and that's easier so if we come back to here I'm going to double click on this to get it into the cabinet uh, level editing and I'm just going to delete everything so we have just a an open box so if I go back to section I'm going to add a split which this looks pretty much just like what we had before I deleted everything out so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse this and so in this 21 and a half opening I'm gonna put 8 inches for now I'm gonna lock that height so that way if I adjust anything it won't move that and we know that this guy right here needs to be 3 inches to for that trim kit so that gives us a height of 17 and a half so we're a half inch too big so you could either raise this up a half inch and make the drawer a little taller but in my case I'm just gonna make this top rail two inches so that way we get our 17 that way alright I'm gonna go into my interior and I'm gonna put a floor in here so we need a floor so that gives me a solid floor right there and so now that we've got the width or the height taken care of we need to, to do the width so the width the minimum width uh, if we come over here or the maximum we're doing the maximum so 25 so there's a couple ways to get 25 so one way is to to take two two inches off the overall width so you can make this a 28 inch wide cabinet and so if this is a 28 inch cabinet so now I have my 17 by 25 which is perfectly fine to do it that way but let's say you have a situation in which you're like well I've got to have a 30 inch cabinet because I don't want to put a 28 inch cabinet in and then have to put fillers or whatever so if we, let's say we need that 30 inches, we can go back to 30 inches and if I go back into my cabinet level, we'll put the, let's go ahead and put a drawer in here. What I'll do is I'll actually tell, so you could make these, these styles fatter, but then you're going to encroach on your drawer space, you're going to lose width. So what I do is I just tell them if it's a 30 inch cabinet or I got a 27 inch opening and I say I need 25, I'm just going to tell my shop guy, hey, I got 27 inches here. I just want to put an inch filler on each side. So I'll build, I'll fill in that opening space to make the 25 inches. So that way I don't lose, you know, A, I, can, I fill my void if I need the 30 inch cabinet or whatever it is and I don't lose the drawer width at the bottom so it really comes down to what you need but uh, that's that's basically you know I just want to make a short video on how I go about it you know my thought process my approach so you know hopefully some of you out there find this helpful because um, that's basically it you know that's that's basically the cabinet I'm going to build for this job coming up and you know it's you know, I, I have no reservations as to why, you know, it won't, it won't work out for me. But, uh, yeah, you know, so just real quick, now that I got this built, you know, I'm fortunate uh, to work in a shop to where 
I have access to, you know, nice programs and machinery. So just, you know, how I would go over real quick how I would send this out to my CNC. I got this, uh, so this is Cabinet Vision. It's a hexagon program. And uh, my, my CNC machines are on Zeroon. And uh, great machines. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. I just, uh, I've got two machines from them and they've been uh, excellent. Um, so that's what I have hooked up to Cabinet Vision. So if I come to screen to machine, this, this allows me to, it's pretty much seamlessly, like if I go to, let's say, we're going to do, come in here and I'm just going to, let's just say we want our body parts of our cabinets. You know, I know I need a floor, we'll do the door slab, we'll do the drawers, we'll do We'll do most of everything. So if I hit OK and I optimize it, right here I can see. So I'm, I'm, my machines are programmed right now for four by eight sheets of plywood. So that's what they're optimizing on. But I can see exactly, you know, what my machine's going to do. Got a little bit of waste here, so I can get that out of scrap. Um, and it's just one cabinet, just to. You know, we're, we're only doing one cabinet, so obviously we don't need this much plywood, but uh, I would just, I can send this straight out to my CNC, and my, I'll print out uh, a pattern sheet, you know, with each, with each page and a code number for my CNC operator, and he just, I just hand him a stack of papers, and he just starts running them, and, you know, I can, Within a matter of minutes, you know, I can have, you know, a, like if I was just doing a single cabinet like this, you know, I could have this thing designed out and then sent to my CNC and, and processed in about, you know, half an hour or less. So I'm very fortunate in that uh, regard. And uh, that's it for this video. So hopefully uh, you guys learned something and we will see you in the next video.